Transferring files between Nix, Flux, and external hosts is greatly improved by using dedicated transfer hosts provided by the center. There are two transfer hosts, uh, nixxfer.engine as well as fluxxfer.engine. You can find this documented on the CAC webpage uh, here at cac.engine.umich.edu slash resources slash login nodes slash transfer.html. The transfer hosts supply a SFTP SCP only shell and a service known as Globus. In this case, we're going to demonstrate using the SCP only shell from Mac and um, this will also work from Linux machines. To be able to use this, it requires an M token, which you can get for free at the uh, accounts office where you get your M card. The M token provides two factor authentication, which uh, prevents security issues from stolen passwords. Say I wanted to transfer the file from the downloads folder on my Mac from my home directory, uh, the ddnudev.rpm package. If I wanted to send this using SCP using the transfer host, I would type SCP, the file I want to send, and then flux x fur.engine.umich.edu colon where I want it to live on flux. So if I want to put this into my no backup space, I would give that directory and then I would press enter. The first time you connect it's going to prompt you for whether or not you've seen this machine before. Just say yes. And it's going to ask for your password. This is the same password you use to log into the cluster. And then it's going to ask for your M code token. This will be a keychain with a number that changes every so often. And type in that number. And the transfer happens. What are the benefits of using this system? These machines are not allowed for interactive login, so users can't crash them using up all the memory or abuse the CPU, etc. So they should be very stable. The other thing is is that they should perform better. Uh, they have larger network connections to the outside world, etc. If I want to transfer a file off of the cluster to my machine, I would do the exact opposite. So I would do SCP uh, flux x for dot engine dot umich dot edu colon the path I want and then the directory I want to put it in so if I want to put this into slash tmp on my Mac I would put that there again it's going to ask me for my cluster password and it will ask for my m token again and transfers the file from the cluster back to my Mac.